Okay, this is the second time I'm making this video because the first time um, I uh, I recorded it and I listened to it and it was crap. There, my my air conditioner is literally right there. It's like two feet from where I put my tripod. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and I think I kind of I I, I kind of messed up on some of the stuff in the video, so. Uh, so I'm redoing it. Um, anyway, um, first I wanted to mention um, the weather is not as nice here as it is up there. Um, it sucks. It's really, 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 really hot. That's just the way Northern California is. Um, and uh, I think it um, it definitely doesn't lend credence. In fact, it may even take away credence your theory of, uh, or not theory even, it's more of a hypothesis, um, that somehow our emotions uh, control the weather, considering that this is like the Bible Belt of Northern California. <laughs> I, that's, that's my terminology. I don't think anybody else has ever said that, but I've, I've known more conservatives up here than any other, and I'm originally from the, uh, the Bay Area. Um, there's really not a whole lot of California that's liberal. A lot of people assume that that all of California is liberal, and really it's just it's just San Francisco and LA, and maybe San Diego. But um, I I I tackled this in another one of my videos. It's called Misconceptions Number One, California. Uh, but anyway, I, I talk about the weather too, and um, and yeah, the weather is pretty much this is. It, it feels like summer. It, it was it was like 103 earlier today. Um, and this is the spring. It's not supposed to be 103 in the spring. This is ridiculous. Anyway, um, uh, oh, and I, I I know you didn't mean that. Like you know, it was it was only Christians that that are able to uh, make the weather better. Um, I, I, I'm just, I'm kind of being facetious in that sense, but, um, the, uh, the, the whole king idea, again, and, um, I'm not sure if you didn't quite get me the first time, maybe I wasn't clear enough, I don't know, but I was, I wasn't, I wasn't simply implying that, that the king would be giving over, giving his kingdom over to his son, which would be, more powerful than him. I was implying that, but I was also implying the fact that um, he's doing this before before um, his son would naturally succeed him. He's doing this um, while he is still able to run his country. He's still fully willing and able to uh, to be the king of this country. He's just not, and he's and he gives that power over to his son, who then becomes the king. Therefore, the former king is now diminished because the the uh, the new king has power over his father. Um, he could have his father executed if he wanted to. Um, um, that was what I was getting at. That was the point that I was getting at. And in that sense, um, uh, you know, that kind of goes back to my whole omnipotence paradox where God could be omnipotent, but we're trying to argue that I don't believe in omnipotence, which I don't really, but actually, I don't really have a problem with omnipotence, now that I think about it. Um, I don't have a problem with omnipotence in general. I just think that Christians define omnipotence um, in a weird way, um, um, either that or God doesn't use his omnipotence to his full power. In other words, he, uh, um, where he could use his omnipotence, uh, to, um, to prevent negative things, or to create positive things, or to friggin' give us an example of its existence, for Christ's sake. Uh, 
I mean, like, I... Honestly, I think I have the God gene. I th you know, there's this whole thing about, you know, that some people have the God gene, some people don't. And a lot of atheists are like, I couldn't possibly have the God gene. I think I do have the God gene because for me, it, it seems pretty cool for there to be an omnipotent being that created the universe. But why the heck hasn't it made itself known? Why? I, and that's one of the reasons why I why I'm why I'm an atheist, and I I, I think that if there is a God, and I you know I I think it's you know it it's it's not an it's not an irrational claim to say that there might be a God. Um, if there is a God, I think the only way to figure out what this God is, what its intentions are, what its, uh, um, you know, how it created the universe and all this other stuff, the only way to do that is through science, is through inspection of the physical world. Um, some book that was written by people, I don't, I, I mean, it doesn't really seem to hold water for me. Um, and this is actually totally different than the original video that I made. <laughs> um, but, uh, and I don't even remember what I said in that video, but it doesn't matter because I think this is far more important. Um, um, to, to base the creator of the universe on what I could only, what in my mind only makes sense as speculation you know, of these, you know, these human writers writing the Bible. In my mind, it, it only makes sense that that's speculation. Maybe a, maybe a little bit of history, 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 uh, you know, uh, on the part of the New Testament, but I, I think it's still mostly speculation. I understand your position more. I don't agree with it, but I understand how you could find it a rational position. To me, it makes absolutely no sense. But I can understand now how you could find it rational. Um, and, um, and, uh, I think that's a good thing. <laughs> um, give, I think it gives me a little bit of, uh, of respect for, um, for theists in general, but particularly Christians, um, but yeah, anyway, I, I understand your position, I, it doesn't make sense to me, but I can understand how it would make sense to you, and I think, I think I've made all the points that I want to make, um, okay, I will, I will admit that I was not playing devil's advocate, I was playing God's advocate, but you were not necessarily playing devil's advocate, you were playing the atheist's advocate. You were playing the, uh, the, 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 the lack of God advocate. Um, you could potentially be playing devil's advocate, but it's not a, it's, it's not as, as, as clean cut as that. Also want to talk about the evolution thing. Um, if you look into the transitional fossils, you will see that our conversation was in fact evolving this way. Before you, um, made the claim that you uh, intelligently designed it to move in this direction. Um, <laughs> but anyway, enough of that stuff. Um, I'll talk to you later.